Welcome to Trivia Thursdays, the day when we take a look at some Catholic trivia in a search for information that you don't already know. But after today, you will be six steps closer to being a Catholic genius. Categories include geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, sports and leisure. And here's your hostess, Andrea Serrani! Hooray! I'll do it for myself. <laughs> uh, really, I'm hooraying for Thirvia Thursday because it's the best day of the week, as everyone knows. Yeah. You ready? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think we can get some today. Okay. Geography. The Blessed Mother is sort of legendarily supposed to have spent the last days of her earthly life in a two-story building on a mountain mm-hmm. with a beautiful view. Where is that mountain? <laughs> Jerusalem. <laughs> no. Oh! No, turns out not Jerusalem. Ephesus. Ephesus. Yes, Ephesus, which is in, I'm trying to make sure here in my Google Maps, modern day Turkey. Oh, I <laughs> That's what I thought, but I was trying I was to make thinking sure. it was in Greece. Uh, no, Ephesus is on the coast of Turkey. Okay. Uh, also, some other things happening there, which we might be talking about in the next few weeks. Oh. <laughs> I got these sort of logged Thrivia Thursday options. Okay. Okay. Next category, entertainment. Which actor plays Father Christopher in the movie For Greater Glory? I can give you a hint. I'll, I don't know if it'll be a helpful hint. I'll take the hint. I still haven't seen this movie yet. The Academy Awards are this weekend. Uh huh. This actor holds the record for most nominations for an Academy Award without ever actually winning. Really? Yes. Poor guy. Huh. I'm so tempted to look this up right now. Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll be like, oh, duh. He's got a mustache, right? Uh, I feel like sometimes he does. I, I mean, I feel like the the movie poster. Like, I just I'm just imagining. Oh, that's not that's not Father Christopher. Oh, okay. Uh, most Academy Awards without ever winning. So he's old. <sighs> is what I'm trying to tell you. Sam Elliott. No, oh! Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole. Okay, next category is history. Got it. If you look at very old paintings of churches, there are no pews. When did pews start being used in churches? Oh, that is a great question. Like like what century? Yeah, I'll say... This is kind of a process. The 900s. No, the... 1200s, the 13th century. Huh. Uh, they started as backless stone benches just for the um, ministers. Okay. And then some lay worshipers, and then for the, especially like for the frail or elderly, and then sort of more and more common they became. And it's thanks to Protestants that pews are sort of uh. ubiquitous now because as they sort of made scripture analysis and homilies more important parts of the liturgy. They got longer and longer uh-huh. and they just couldn't expect people to stand through the whole thing anymore. So everyone got a pew. <laughs> Thanks, Protestants. So, so that looks kind of comfortable. So not good for nothing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Next category. <All> right. mm-hmm. <laughs> How many languages has the Bible been translated into? The whole Bible. Hmm. Almost all of them. Not even close. Really? Not even remotely close. No. Well, first of the all, because Bible. not every language has a written component. Sure. 93 languages. No, way more than that. Huh. 670 languages, oh, wow. the whole Bible. But the New Testament has been translated into 1,500 languages. And huh. uh, at least a portion of scripture... Uh, maybe a book or a psalm or a fragment has been translated into more than 3,000 languages. But... Wow. 3,000 3, languages? 3,000 is less than half of all the languages currently spoken in the world. No. Yes. <laughs> That's Out like of, dialects yeah, and no. all kinds of weird There are 7,097 languages spoken around the world. 
and only around 4,000 have even developed a writing system. Wow. I know. I am. I learned a lot I about languages out of the loop. this morning. Me too. So there are still a thousand more languages for the Bible to be translated into if anyone's looking for a career. <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> there's, there's probably a grant, some grant money in there for you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, last week we celebrated Our Lady of Lourdes. So in our science and nature category, according to scientific studies of the water in the spring at Lourdes, what is the element that causes healings? The hydrogen. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of a trick question. Uh, They've yeah. done all this research over and over again. They've tested this water and found that it's just water just no water. special ingredients two except parts faith, hydrogen one part oxygen except faith and love from god <laughs> okay sports and leisure last category the augustinian sisters of mercy of the mercy of jesus arrived from france at what would be known as quebec city in canada on august 1st 1693 mm. the community came with a signed charter from king louis the 13th on a mission to care for the sick and they founded one of the first hospitals in north america 376 years later to the day the sisters reopened in a new version of that mission what did they convert the hospital into oh my goodness what did they convert the hospital into into a school no. for children with okay no. still no uh, a hotel and health and wellness spa huh <laughs> yeah, so this is sort of a modern version of their hospital. So they have doctors, psychologists, and masseuses and offer a variety of treatments. They have sleep therapy, posture instruction, health evaluations, aromatherapy. Guests can be instructed in proper nutrition. There's an in-house restaurant with naturally cooked, locally grown foods. All about living a healthier life, body and soul. Who knew? Who knew? Check it out. Uh, Le Monastère. De Augustines. All right. Good to know.